Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Finding Disney, where we're finding Disney magic right here at home. I'm just chilling on my couch today. I have a Disney World haul that I've been meaning to share with you guys for like three weeks now. And it's, it's just sad because it's sitting in this bag, just waiting to be opened and to share with you all. But um, I just haven't had time to film this quarantine thing. It's like, are we quarantining? Are we not? Are we homeschooling? Are we not? Do I have a job or do I not? So it's just been kind of a weird three weeks, but so glad I got to go to the parks and just escape for a little bit. But anyway, let's open this up. I'm really excited to show you what I got. So we were there during Halloween time. Um, this was, let's see, we left the day before Halloween, October 30th. And so I was just kind of going through the merch at the end of the week, you know, picking up all the stuff that we kind of eyeballed, you know, and then went back through and purchased. I don't know if, do you guys like to shop as you go or do you kind of eyeball everything and then go back and get it? Um, some things you can't go back and get though. You know, if you're, if you're at a, you know, specific park and then there's only certain merch that's, that will be at that park. So you might have to pick some things up as you go, but um, I know you guys have already seen by now the Halloween design for this year, which is really cool and kind of these pastel colors. This is a bag. Landon used it for his trick-or-treat bag for Halloween uh, a couple weeks ago. And we also got some masks. Um, this is not a very organized haul. <laughs> Where are those Halloween masks? I know you guys have seen these too, but I washed them and put them back in here. Here's Lillian's mask that I got for her. It's not Halloween. This is tie-dyed and has a photo of Mickey on the front, just in blue. So that's pretty cute. It was a little small on her though, so she hasn't really worn it, which I feel bad because I thought she would really like it, which she does really like it. It's just too small for her face. So that was a large, I think, and these are largest too, and for some reason they're bigger. So this says Boo on it and it has all these fun Mickey shapes and little candies and stuff like that. So we'll just save it for next year. Who knows, we might still be wearing masks next year too. I got two of these and me and Carter wore those all around the park. We got another one too, it's in here somewhere. I feel like Mary Poppins carpet bag like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, hold on. Somehow it fell on the ground here. Okay, and here's Landon's mask. And he wore this trick-or-treating as well. And it says little pumpkins on it. And you can barely see there's some little mini, mini heads in there. Little ears on some of these. I have this gross thing on my knuckles. So I hope, <laughs> I hope you just didn't see that. You probably did. I'm sorry. Okay, moving on. Maybe I should go put a Band-Aid on that thing. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm left-handed, so I'm automatically just going to show things with my left hand. And so, this is real life, people. This is YouTube real life. Moving on. Um, so, the first day, first day we went to Animal Kingdom. Did I get anything from Animal Kingdom? No, I don't believe I did. Oh yeah, I did get this button. I, I paid a dollar or two dollars for Conservation Hero. And when you purchase these buttons, they're gonna be at all of the counters up front when you um, go to purchase something. We purchased, maybe we did purchase something. I just can't remember though. Maybe I should have been more organized. Oh God, I'm sorry. Okay, anyway. Um, maybe we just purchased a water or something. And then I saw the buttons were inside that little basket and I purchased one and, um, yeah. So you just donate and you can get one of these buttons. And I put it on this lanyard, which was Carter's lanyard. And of course we got our free buttons here that says mother and son trip. The free buttons are always fun. We picked those up at the counter. We stayed at Pop Century. And here's my button. The other one was Carter's and this one is mine. Yeah, those are free. You can get them for if you're celebrating something, if you're just married, if it's your first trip. There's four different choices. I just named three and I can't remember the fourth one. Okay. 
I'm just gonna pull randomly. Let's do these. It was kind of a birthday trip for Carter and he ended up purchasing two hats. He's got this Pizza Planet here. This Pizza Planet hat, it's just all white. Really cool. I got some cool pictures of him in that hat and we got one with a child on it, AKA Baby Yoda. And that too is all black. So those are a lot of fun, yeah. He picked those up for his birthday along with, um, he got to pick out two drinks in, these are like um, Coke and Sprite and then there's special bomb, I think they call them bomb drinks or whatever. Yeah, we got these in, um, you know, Star Wars Land. Star Wars Galaxy Edge, which everybody calls Star Wars Land, but it is called Galaxy's Edge. Um, we got an orange for a cup. I can share our other cups too that we got. It's just the same design. Um, I have these designs already that I got last year as well. The day we left, they came out with the Christmas cup. And I was like, dang it, I would have gotten that if, if I would have just been a few days later, I could have gotten that one. But we picked an orange bird sipper and I got a few Instagram photos, which I'll insert in here in the video. Isn't he cute? Inside came a special drink, which was kind of tasted like an orange creamsicle, if you're familiar with that, which is just kind of orange flavor mixed with um, like vanilla ice cream. That's kind of what it tasted like. Got some snacks here. The Rice Krispie Treats, these are the Christmas ones. Like I said, the Christmas display just came out the day we left. We left the day before Halloween, so. Yep, and it just says crisp rice cereal, has a cute picture of Mickey and Minnie, and you can actually fill it out if you wanna do to and from somebody. And Stitch Extreme Sours, these are delicious. They kinda taste like those, I think they're called Nerd, Nerd, no. No, Extreme Sour Ropes or something like that that you can buy and they come in cherry flavored and they have just like a, a nougat on the inside almost, like a sugary nougat. And that's what these are, they're really delicious. And I got those for the kids, but um, two of those are already gone. Like I said, it is Halloween time, so it was Halloween time. The, their Halloween candy is now gone. We were able to go trick or treating a little bit. I was actually surprised. Most people put candy out on their front porch, but some people actually handed it out. Let's get to the pins. And then I think I have a sweatshirt to show you and I think that's it. I did get a keychain. Did I show that keychain? Oh, here's the keychain. Star Wars keychain for Landon. And it lights up, but for some reason it's not lighting up right now. Oh no, it's broken already. Oh, well, what a bummer. Right here on camera, it broke. Um, Maybe the button was pressed in there or something and now it won't light up. I'll have to check it out. Maybe there's a little battery that needs to be changed in there. I got Lily in a keychain too. She's 16 and she's already got it on her key ring and she's at work right now or I'd show you, but it's really cute. It's just, it's about this big and about this wide and it has just an etching of the castle. It's rose gold and I think it says dream or something on it. It's really pretty and she immediately put it on her key ring. Cause like I said, she's 16 now, she's driving. She's 17 now, I forgot she turned 17 last month. So she's driving and she's doing her own thing and working. Um, I got some really cool pins. I got this, it says Donald's Mixed Tape. And this has Chip and Dale on it. I got it because it reminded me of Carter and I and just a little memory of our trip of him and I together. I don't think I said that, it was just him and I on this trip. I also like to pick up pins from each place that I have stayed. And this is a Mickey pin. It says Disney's Pop Century Resort. A lot of fun. Last time I was at Pop Century, they ran out of the pins. And so I ordered one online. It wasn't the pin that I saw, but it does seem like the designs change. So even if you stayed at Pop Century before, always check out the pins because the designs do change um, just like with any resort. And then this one is really special. It says 2020 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival 25th anniversary. And Chad is gonna join us for the video. Hi buddy. 
okay and it's got the three fairies on it making the cake for aurora and in the very corner it says 2020 epcot international food and wine festival so just a really great pin it's got two pin posts let's look at the back of this thing really heavy pin i paid 18 dollars for this wow look at the back of it and I'll do a better close-up so you can see, but wow, that's awesome. I gotta lift up my glasses a little bit so I can read it better. But um, let's see if it has, if it's a limited edition, I'm sure that it is. Oh yeah, right here. Um, limited edition of 3000. So it's not like super special as far as limited editions go. You know, it's not a real low number, but it's still fun. And it comes on this great backer card. I leave my pins in the backer card. I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you like to display them on a board maybe or whatever, but I don't know. There's just, these backer cards are just fun. This is nothing special. These were both silver. So I'm gonna, I'm not sure exactly what silver was. You know, in Disney, things are color coded. They don't have the price on them. They have the, the color and then you match it there's a price chart and then you match it to the price chart so I probably paid these are probably $7.99 these are just regular rack pins so I'm sure they were just about $7.99 or so $8 and here is a sweater I bought sweater sweatshirt that I got I really wanted to get this last time I was there and I didn't and so I kind of splurged this time I paid $55 for this and this is an extra large I will try it on for you so you can see it on, but this, I love this sweatshirt. I can't believe I waited so long to do this haul because I haven't been able to wear this awesome sweatshirt, but I'll um, go try it on and then I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like. Hey, what do you guys think? Doesn't it fit good? It's right, just right under my belly. I think the sleeves are a good length. This is a unisex sweatshirt, so it can fit uh, men or women. And oh, my hair is so much shorter. I don't know if you guys, I had, I don't think I filmed since I cut my hair, but it's really weird. Remember my hair used to be like down to here. I cut my own hair. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. If you do follow me on Instagram, you saw that I did cut my own hair and it might be a little longer on one side, but oh well, quarantine hair don't care, right? But just love the colors in this. It's almost like a rainbow, but I just think it's just a fun, really retro feel. I love the D, the old fashioned D with the uh, Mickey head inside. And I love this sweatshirt. Like I said, I eyed it last year when I was there. So it's not a new design, but I am so glad I picked it up. Um, guys, I think that's everything. You put my ears back on, I think, right? The pins, the keychains, the masks, the cups, the hats. Treats, of course, the bag, the sipper cup. So yeah, not like a giant, huge haul, but we got what we wanted and, you know, we already have so much. And so just the time together, I think was the best part. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again really soon for a new video. I have two collaborations coming up here. Um, in just a few days. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of the videos I upload. Thank you again, and we'll see you again really soon for a new video. Bye, Disney fans.